Hi guys, this is Tutor Ali. Um, I am going to start working with uh, AutoCAD tutorials where I'll be making all these drawings that you see over here. Now mo all these drawings that you see is mechanical. Once I get with all these mechanical drawings, I will start working with architecture drawings. Okay, I have already explained the whole AutoCAD, the whole interface all the tools that you see over here and in the whole screen so if you would like to go watch that maybe you should watch that first or you could even learn the same program uh, and start working with direct examples and tutorials that I'll be drawing and I'll be going pretty slow so I hope you would follow what's going on so starting with this first tutorial what we see is uh, is a shape that's done basically just by using this line tool. Now the commands that we have used for this particular example is line, dimension, object snaps. You see the dimensions right there. Object snaps is right here. Then the layers. We make the specific layers for dimensions for object lines then we use the offset command where I would offset distances like I offset this line one so it you know it's one inch offset that line again 1.75 then offset these lines one and 0.5 and 1.5 so basically just by using a couple options or a couple commands I would be able to draw this little drawing so once I'm done with this tutorial you would be easily easily able to work this on your own so all you have to do is follow my lead and if you have any questions please feel free to ask so the the drawing is done in inches and the template that I have used is tutorial IMFG so you could always go to AutoCAD hit new and you would use this template for all our tutorials that I'm doing on this page okay now I already have that page open this is my paper space that's my model space I'll obviously draw in model space so I will keep this drawing onto the screen so you understand and follow exactly how I am going to work with this particular exercise now starting first thing first is I have to make sure that I'm on the right layer okay because this is the object that I am drawing so I will I cannot be on the dimensions layer so I'll go to the model detail front maybe I'll just take model top okay. and I will start drawing all this by just using a couple commands starting with the line tool so if I click on the line tool my command panel says specify first point and I just click somewhere on the screen so I've already specified my first point now the next thing the command panel is saying is specify next point so the next point is going to be at a distance of 5 I have to make sure that my cursor remains straight I cannot have that and type 5 I have to be straight and type 5 and hit enter so I see a line that's already drawn 5 inches long now I'll go down 90 degrees and make sure my cursor is 90 degrees and how much distance do I put in now now I'll be putting 1.75 1.75 and I hit enter now I can go back this way but do I know the dimension how far back do I have to go this way I don't Maybe I could calculate I could add all of this up and then subtract it by 5 if I wanted but I will maybe just start going this way now so 
so I'm going down one so I do line or I can type L on my keyboard and hit space bar or enter it takes me to the same command now you have to learn how to use the keyboard more than trying to look and search for the tool because it takes time one of the reasons is you're moving your eye away from the screen and from the drawing by just looking over here so if your left hand stays on the keyboard you really won't even look for your tools and that saves you a lot of time so <coughs> so if you see over here the line uh, in brackets I have L so L is the shortcut or the list command that you would use to draw the line so I'll click here go down 1.0 enter now I'm going this way how much now if you look into the drawing it shows over here that distance is 1 so I go that way 1 enter then I'm going down how much here is there anywhere I know how much I'm going down I'm going down 1.75 why because the total is 2.75 right then I go in this direction I go 0.5 enter then I'm going up how much going up 1.0 so you have to look at the drawing to your right to see what I'm going and which part am I drawing right now so now I'm going this side be 1.5 hit enter then I go down and I'm going down how much same distance which is 1 enter go back this way 1 enter go back up 1 enter and I finish where I started so pretty much I did my first exercise by just using the line tool and keep going and drawing my line now I could use more uh, tools or more commands like offset to do the same line but it would take me a little longer like for example I would draw this line and then I would offset this one like O for offset and hit enter or space bar and it's asking me the distance I'll put the distance as one enter and then I would offset that line so you see what I got over here I got this distance Okay, then I would offset O, enter, 2.75, enter, and I could offset this line this way. Okay, and then I would make this one line starting from here. So basically, if I'm working with offset, I'm mostly making a grid. So you would be working uh, using offset for complicated examples. So uh, it's always better to know how the offset works now I want to go this direction 1 so I go offset enter 1 is the distance of offset enter and I click this go 1 then I'm gonna do offset again now the distance I'm going to use is 0.5 enter now distance I'm going to use 1.5 enter then offset enter and distance is 1 enter and again the last one is 1 as well offset enter 1 enter okay so now I pretty much laid out most of my drawing I still need to offset this line which is 1.75 so offset enter 1.75 enter and then I offset it over here so now all I'm gonna use is some trim commands I could use the grips to to move my uh, lines around see I could click and drag click the grip and drag it to the location the grip drag it to the location 
now the first one this line is going from there till here okay and then this line is going from there till here and this line is going from here to here see I'm just moving the grips now this thing takes time but this is one of the way of doing the same exact thing now sometimes when you're working with grips sometimes it's even faster than using a command so it's extremely important we understand how to use the grips so I did most of my drawing now I could use a couple commands or maybe just one more command call as trim and then trim out some of my lines okay I need to trim out that one and I need to trim out this one so either I could go to the trim right there or I can type T R enter select my whole drawing enter click what I want to trim so now this was the second way of making the same exact drawing you know but obviously you would be using just the basic line tool in this case but you could be doing it this way as well so now this is done I'm going to select it and erase it now a couple ways of erasing an object I have no command I can just click on my screen in the right hand corner and going up towards the left and I click so it selects it now I can hit delete okay or the other way was I could hit E enter for erase is the same command right here select the object like this and hit enter so I could erase it that way as well so now my drawing is done now I have to do the dimensions now for doing the dimension before I get to the dimensions I'll have to make sure I go on the dimensions layer now the dimension layer comes with the template all you have to do is click there and select dimensions before you start doing the dimension now the dimension that we are using is the first one that you see called the linear dimension So you just click on the linear dimension now it's asking me for annotation now again I have explained this in one chapter I will just hit OK and then I would click and click and there click and click and here click and click and here so if you hit spacebar once your command is done it takes you back to the same command so click and click and there see now it's not right so I have to click there click the grip and move it okay so I would go click click and move it to the location and click again see I gotta move the grip there okay so I could go on and finish my drawing so now using the object snaps is extremely important this one always has to stay on see off on off on always have to stay on now I could even do more dimensioning click click and location now this doesn't look right so I'm gonna click in the middle and move it right there okay so make my drawing more cleaner then click and click and the location instead of clicking anywhere I'll make sure that I'm clicking on the right spot so to snap it so now this completes my drawing exactly like this one I hope you followed my tutorial now it's gonna start getting more and more tougher and I'm going to explain you each and everything so I hope you guys follow for some reason if I'm going a little bit too fast please comment and ask me to go a little slow or maybe repeat another exercise okay so I hope you enjoy all these tutorials this is your instructor tutor Ali and I hope you I hope to see you soon. Thank you.